What's going on, guys? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Blake again, coming to y'all for another video. As you see, I brought my friend Stefan, and uh, I got a pretty interesting uh, video for you guys. This one's pretty awesome, in my opinion, and I know you're stoked, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Frick. It's all right. You can you can restart. Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. What the hell? Yeah, dude. It. So. I'm over here at the car wash, our local car wash, and uh, Stefan, actually, you know what? Let me just go over what happened. He can he can tell you. So remember, the, I told you guys the story. Went, we met at the meet. You had a two valve, right? Whatever, yeah, I and like, you. I it, went back and forth about how like it, oh, it was like, no car, it was clean, 90k miles, blah 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 blah, right? And then the I saw you over there, and I was like, I got to park next to this Mach One, right? So I parked next to it, and then I saw him stand outside. I was like, hey, can you come take a look at my door panel? It's like a little messed up. So he put it back together for me, and then we started talking, and then I popped the hood, and he was like, oh, you drive a piece of shit. I'm like, what do you mean? What? I didn't say, hey, hey, hold, hey, hold on, hold on. I, I'm not that mean, bro. I did not say that. You you, you, were you took You were you, dogging on No, me. no, you, you took it that way. <laughs> I, he was asking me how to make a car faster. To cut the story very short, we raced and ended up selling the car. Well, yeah, I, we, I said, we're, we, we live really close to each other. So we were on our way home and I dropped some gears next to him and he was sort of taking off already. And I just see him like, and he passes me like a freight train. Like it was a feather going in the wind and then uh, Enzo Ferrari. <laughs> like it was stupid. Appreciate the comment by the mock one. So, his favorite body style is the SN95, the 97 Cobra. The, you know, I, you guys know it's my favorite. So he sold the two valve and he sent me a link for this 97 Cobra Black, 64,000 miles, right? Needed an alternator battery, like it had charging issues with the start and stuff. I drove him an hour and 30 minutes to Tampa to check this car out. And I helped him change the alternator and battery in this guy's garage at the owner's house. We inspected it, I jacked it up, we looked it over. So, he bought it. He bought a 64,000 mile yeah, 97 man. Cobra yeah, for how much? Man. Oh yeah, oh my God. I bought this 1997 Mustang SVT Cobra. Explain how clean it is with the mods. Black on black, it's, it's motor wise, it's stock, but everything else that like matters is done. You don't even, you don't even know. You'll see, we'll talk more about it throughout the video. But um, I got it for eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars. Eight grand, guys. Eight grand. All right. And I, and I know you guys are like, oh, I, I, I'm so hyped up over these cars. Listen, this is 2022. We're past the COVID stage with the the skyrocketing car prices going up and everything. And I said in my most popular video, it's got 24 or 25 thousand views now. I think I it's been about what two years now. I think since I posted it about it's the best car to get the best mustang for under ten thousand dollars and there's still deals out there for this car and everyone adores this car i don't understand so without further ado let's go check it out wow absolutely wow so guys this is a 97 and whoever had the car beforehand put the 98 stock cobra wheels on it and in my opinion it looks really nice and it's Stephens, you really like the wheels correct yeah i i <laughs> i think alloy on black is so clean i agree i mean the paint is like in really good condition i mean you know it could use a wax or something but like overall dude clean car clean car and explain how meant the interior is with the seats think about it's sitting on the showroom floor in 1997. That's what it looks like. And think about what seats are in it. Uh, 03 and 04 Terminator Cobra seats. What do you guys see how clean these seats are? Guys, look at this seat. Most Terminator seats don't look this good inside of a Terminator Cobra. I mean, front, the back is absolutely mint. Passenger side, obviously. But look, I want to see if I can scoot in here. 64,000 miles. And this car, we test drove it. It is incredibly smooth, incredibly tight. I'm pretty sure it's got a 373 or 410 rear end. It pulls way harder than my 97. It has an X pipe with Flowmasters. No cats. No cats, but it's it sounds so smooth. I used to not like the X pipe. Now, 
I'm a big fan. It's so smooth. It sounds amazing. Stock hood, stock body. I mean, this thing's awesome. The only thing, you know, they painted the valve covers on here, but other than that, still got the stock uh, strut tower brace. It's stock intake. Upgraded, you know, plugs or uh, spark plug wires. But yeah, man. $8,000, 64,000 mile original miles. Oh, Carfax. Clean title. Yeah, everything, everything. Rust free. 1997 Cobra. Yes, I think one of the coolest parts about this car for me is the fact that when we checked it, I, look, I looked in the back, the diff cover is painted <laughs> and it says, what did it say? It said perfect launch, right? Yeah, Engra perfect launch. Is it engraved yeah. in the diff cover? It said perfect launch. And honestly, I believe it. When you, when you hit it, Dude, when I was, I went to my uh, coworker and I was like, um, I showed him a picture of the diff and everything like that, and he said it's got a girdle, riddle, something like that. Girdle. Yeah, yeah, something like that. You have really good suspension mods on here. I mean, look, yeah. UPR caster camber plates, and so much more underneath the car. The only thing you don't have is subframe connectors. Once you get those, yeah. the thing will be so incredibly tight. Guys, he got a steal on this car, dude. And it only needed an alternator and a battery that we changed the night we went to go pick it up. And I drive it every day to work, lunch, whatever you need, go to his house to mess with him, whatever. It starts up every day, no struggle, no nothing. It's, it's like too good to be true almost. Like it feels like 1997. I just took it out of the showroom floor. On steroids, in my opinion. And I drove it. That's exactly how it feels. Like literally just came off the showroom floor. Like literally. Literally. I'm so happy for you, bro. I, I so happy for you. I'm hyped, bro. I, I, I told a lot of Cobra guys, a lot of a lot of friends of mine, and they all said the same thing: absolute steal. There was a guy on my Instagram that said he bought a, a GT for eight grand or seventy five hundred dollars. Sorry. Yeah, see, I bought and, that GT, that ninety thousand mile one. I bought that GT as a new edge, 04, 40th anniversary, and I got it for six eight, and that was a good deal to me. And then this is just like here here let me give you air and then give me a cobra pretty much <laughs> like practically dude so I, I i wish i wish my videos could get out there more so people can really understand how underrated these cars are for the money for the money you get a great car and and you the guys that buy two valves unless you don't like the body or something that's really it but overall dude how's the power compared with two valves it's way it's, it's a nine day difference like a like an rt to a hellcat essentially is how it feels to me personally. That much of a difference. Yeah, genuinely. If you guys are looking at two valves, what are you doing? <laughs> For real. I'm the dumbass that bought one. <laughs> here you go, then, man. Uh, here you go, guys. Here's my baby. She's a little dirty. But, yeah, guys, I love these cars to death. You guys already know that. Oh, oh. And if we ever race, me and this man right here, this Cobra and Michael, if we have a race, it's gonna be on film. So watch out for that video for sure. For oh, sure. you already know it's going down, huh? Oh, yeah. You already know. But hey, we're gonna do the Mach 1 first so that way I can uh, no, obliterate I'm you. No, not racing it, dude. You're, gonna, you're not, you're what, are you scared? You're gonna make are me you sell scared? this. Are you scared? You're gonna make me sell this, bro. <laughs> you really think it's that fast? <laughs> it's pretty quick, bro. It's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, she's not bad. Hey, you know what's funny, though? On a total si on a on a side topic, the way I set that motor up, it has the same compression this motor has. Oh yeah, for boost or whatever you want to do for boost in the future, that's right. So I dropped it, so, but that I just thing is, that thing is ready for boost. Like it's it ready. it's it feels strong as heck, don't it? Yeah, it, it pulls hard. All right, so um, we also forgot to mention the mods, as in like. Everything is modded except the motor. So it's got a, I swear it has a lightweight flywheel or something. The clutch is so light. Like I literally barely have to put any effort into that. It's like, um, it's not like a Velocitor where it's like a feather, but it's like, kind of like my Jeep that I have. To give you a, to give you a good comparison for me, it's as, li it, it's as light as my SVT Focus. Yeah, it's stupid light. And then the, here, are the, here are the throws. So this is first, second, third, fourth, Fifth, reverse. It is a short shifter, short shifter. Like it's, it's so awesome. It's okay, guys. Real quick. So when I told you all about the exhaust, I'm gonna let him start it up so you guys can hear some exhaust clips. But it is stop manifolds with an X pipe with Flowmasters, no cats. I'm 
stop manifolds, H pipe, no cats with flow masters. So kind of similar, but also kind of different. Whenever you're ready, buddy. video not the beginning oh. <laughs> all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the video and, and, I hope and you enjoyed the video <laughs> <laughs> hey man you're lucky i don't care to keep this stuff in the video bro oh, anyway where are your sleeves bro bro it's florida hey let me hey you know what let me know when you get some arms like mine let me know when you stop being built like a spear all right Bob, the builder, calm down. <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna end the video here so i hope you guys enjoyed it and got to see Stefan's new Cobra. He really likes it and he honestly deserves it. He's a really good dude, so I couldn't be happy for him. He definitely got a steal. And uh, yeah, guys, look, you're definitely gonna see more videos of this car in the future. And like I said, we're definitely gonna get a run in because yeah. you pull a lot harder than me. So you definitely got a better gear. Um, I don't know about horsepower, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you're still gonna uh, win. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, since the four thousand miles between 180 or 170. I'll tell you what. If I even keep up with my 283, that's you should keep up. It, it's keep pretty. Up. That's pretty cool. I don't, I don't anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and oh, dude, plug your TikTok and buy a Cobra. Oh, and follow simple underscore Steph, S I M P L E underscore S T E P H to see uh, like cinematics and stuff that I do with this car and maybe some videos here and there on TikTok. I just, I just love the whole, you know, super cool music with the whole car thing and that vibe that it gives you. If you want that vibe, follow me. All right, guys, you heard the man. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.